Hi there, everybody. Uh, in this quick video, I'm going to show you how to use the Chafee College Library databases. If you've got research to do and you've got to use those Chafee uh, databases, and if you're watching this, you'll probably already know for me that you need to, this is going to help you navigate through that system. Let's get the hang of it. It's pretty easy peasy. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be really honest. Go ahead and start on your Chafee homepage. Go to current students. Uh -uh. Bop down a library. And from there, you can go to um, this search window. Now, I'm going to be super honest. You probably don't have time to read complete books. And in general, if you're looking at articles and research that is in article form, it's going to be more up to date because articles come out way, way faster than books. So I'm going to hit this. Now, if you notice, it's going to send me to this big old long list. And I am going to tell you which ones I think are going to be the most useful for you. So. If you're not writing these down, I suggest you write them down right now. CQ Researcher is fantastic. It's uh, a research organization funded and supervised by Congress to help keep them up to date on the most important issues happening in the US and around the world. Their second most uh, important is going to be Academic Search Complete. Um, and this one covers all kinds of different databases. It kind of uh, agglomerates them all into one place there. And that one's also fantastic. Now, if you are doing something that is going to be like health related, I've got a couple for you. Notice we are in the A to Z database list. So it's just going in alpha order all the way down. What you can do then is go databases by subject you're doing something medical, and I know some of you are thinking about something that has to be medical or health related, you're gonna go by subject, and then you're gonna wait for it to load. It's gonna take a little bit of time maybe. Sooner or later, it jumps you right into that subject listing. And you notice here, you've got all kinds of different ways of looking at those same databases. Nursing and health sciences. Health source, nurse, nursing academic is really good for issues regarding making arguments about health or about, say, COVID, the safety of vaccines. Alt Health Watch, Alt there means alternative. So if you're looking at something outside of the mainstream, maybe, such as the effects of certain kinds of gray area uh, substances, uh, marijuana comes up. Um, you could also think about, you know, the use of some kinds of substances in psychotherapy. Um, Alt Health Watch is really good as well. You can take a look at the others. Now, if you're looking at how something like is going to be influencing somebody's mind, maybe will some kind of change to the educational system help students grow, um, perform better, be more well adjusted in school. Psych articles is really good for those kinds of issues as well. But practically all of this stuff you're going to find in Academic Search Complete. I'm going to make a quick jump back to A to Z database. And boom, that was fast. And I'm going to walk you through some important ones. Now here, you're going to get into the login page. Remember, we pay money for these excellent databases. I mean, the college district does. So um, you got to prove you're a student. You put in your Chafee ID. Notice mine is blank here because I'm not into identity theft. And then you're going to find your Chafee password there. And it's going to be what you use to log in when you go to on-demand login to go look at Canvas or other kinds of campus resources. If you've got any problems with this, let me know. I've already hammered through this with a couple of students, so I think I know what's going on. So once you get inside, you're going to see this report. Um, and it's pretty long. Um, once you get to the actual report, this is just kind of like their homepage. Let's say you're going to do something about, say, undocumented immigrants and their effect on the economy. 
There's been a lot of back and forth on that, but let's see what the research says about it. I always recommend advanced search. Go ahead and hit that. I'm going to put economy. I'm going to try economic impact. And I'm, I'm putting in keyword in all text. Sometimes report titles is too slim. And then I'm going to hit search, see what happens. Immigrants in the economy. Now look, it gives you a date, 2017, Latino voters, probably not what we want. But you can always like right click on them. And see what happens. I'm a big fan of right clicking. Immigrants in the economy, do they help spur, spur growth? Wow, this could be right up our alley, right? Now, if you notice, you've got a whole report here, introduction, overview. What's the whole issue? You know, where are the big, big brush strokes? Background, what led up to it? What, what's underpinning this issue? The current situation or moment, outlook, where is it going? Pro con, for and against, chronology, what is the timeline of this issue, how has it developed or changed, short features, maps, graphs, etc. So much information. I mean, so much that I'm, that I'm really asking you strongly, please only use this once, just because we want to really have the ability to use all kinds of different resources. If we just stick on this, we're limiting the tools on our belt. But I'll give you a quick kind of round down here. Do they help spur growth? Overview? Do, 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 do. Lots to look at here. Oh, Mediterranean grocery store. Awesome. That sounds delicious. Now, anywhere that you see a one or a footnote, you'll notice that you get something that you can jump to. And I'll tell you where to go. New York Times. Any legitimate journalism like that? New York Times, Los Angeles Times. Um, that can count as a source too, okay? And sometimes going to one source just by looking at the footnotes leads you to the other sources that you want. And of course we've got some graphs here. Um, immigrant count on the rise. And I know some of you are thinking, oh my gosh, how am I going to get through all of this reading and stuff like that? I've got a really easy peasy system to help you just kind of at first gather what you think might work. If you're like, okay, here's the first one, I'm gonna read this to beginning and end, then you're gonna spend all your time just on one source. It's better to do like a real quick cut based on a couple pieces of information, mainly the title and the summary. I've got a whole little spiel on that coming up too. Background, immigrant spur economy, okay. Sometimes the titles of these subsections will help. The Great Famine of Ireland, I know all about that. Alcohol, speed. Um, not really sure what is going on there. Current situation, immigrants and crosshairs. This is, nine, this is in 2017, so this is during the Trump administration, um, where, let's face it, uh, immigrants from certain backgrounds were kind of scapegoated for what was going on in the country, but you notice. But look, here you've got a pro and a con. We're limiting illegal immigration, protect US economic interests. Pro, this, this person says yes. Con, this person says no. So you've got quite a bit going on here. And you've got a nice little chronology here. Again, I know it looks like a lot of information, but at the first, at the first you know, round, you just want to make sure you're gathering things you can take a deeper look at. Look, there's a whole list of articles with little summaries too. Anything that's being used here, you could also use as a source, but you really want to jump to that source and make sure that you've got the full context. We all know, you know what it's like to have a quote be taken out of context. Um, if you ever watched romantic comedy, that's pretty much how everything goes anyway, right? And that's what starts the whole plot moving. Not that anybody's going to be writing about romantic comedies for this essay, I don't think. 
um, look at all these footnotes and stuff like that. And you can jump to any part just by hitting that. Come on, right? Are you proving me wrong? Okay, yeah. So now you just got this one part. Hit the full report, right? Now, you don't even have to read it all right now. This is what you can do. You hit email, email a link back to, always hit the full report. Your email, who you are, who you want it sent to, it's probably the same person. Look, you get to see all my kids' email addresses. No identity theft, all right? Um, you can also send yourself a copy as a PDF. Wow, doesn't get much easier than that. If you've got your own PDF copy, then you can use the highlight function. You could um, do all kinds of things to help you take notes. So anyway, that's how you do that. Um, really good one. I know some of you might be interested in say, um, let's say, COVID policies. Well, how about vaccine effectiveness? Vaccines don't work, they're placebos. They're really just sweet tarts. The pill ones, not the one, nobody's getting, okay, never mind. we'll just keep on going on. Look at this one, use mental health, Branding, crime in America. Doesn't seem like this is really getting us the hits that we want. Oh, COVID-19 vaccines. Vaccine controversies. I would probably jump into both of these. You can read this one too, dude. for them to load. Okay. Will mandates bring the pandemic under control? Good question. I'm sure a lot of us remember this time. Um, oh man, hard stuff to see. Anyway, once again, you've got graphs. It'd be worth something worth looking into. Look, there are all kinds of issue trackers that kind of related to it, like the pandemic economies, public health system. COVID-19 vaccines. So anyway, this is a great place to start. But again, I want you to be able to use all of these tools well. Okay. Now the introduction and the overview are great places to start. Um, in general, reading the introduction will, will probably be enough for you to know if you need to go on with this one or not. So that's all those. Let's take a quick look at my next favorite, my next biggest recommendation, which is Academic Search Complete. And let me get on that. And it's not gonna let me do this. Maybe it's gonna open in a new window. Okay, and it does. You can never have too many tabs open. So let's go back to illegal immigrants. The wording may change. You may have to try different ways of saying the same thing. Um, let's say undocumented immigrants. Oh, look, it's pulling down right here. Um, and notice I'm in advanced search, which is always the way you want to go. And let's just say economic impact. Oh, man, I think I'm onto something. This is exciting. Legal immigration, a positive economic contribution to the United States. Holy cow, look at that. Now notice, you've got a nice little slider here that'll help you decide how recent you want your research to be. I'm saying within the last 10 years, or even less, is what you're gonna want. Because in 1899, maybe what their research was saying about immigration was very different and perhaps flawed. But notice, you still got 48 things to look at. Here's the ethical, ethical implications. Cost of intolerance. International trade. Job vacancies. 